All right, welcome back to Shattered Pixel Dungeon. I believe this is episode five. Um, and I uh, haven't played in a few days, so bear with me as I get my bearings again. Um, yes, that's right, so we're still using the Chilling Dirk. We have this plus seven scale armor and a, uh, a simple, humble ring of accuracy. And we still need to find a transmutation stone so we can transmute that energy ring. Um, but for now, let's uh, continue on here. We do have that blast wave scroll that we can use to shoot fish out of water. That's good. And what? Your weapon is teleported away. My potion. What? Okay, at least we do have this weapon. Our weapon just teleported away into another room. I've never seen that happen before. Uh, good thing we just found that sword. Dear lord, man. What a cheap freaking... Oh my god, man. So far, the game is just being ridiculously cheap. Um, okay, so... Whoever that is, we're going to... Poison him. Come on in. Okay. Can't friggin' see anything. We're gonna need to go catch up, sneak up on this guy. These guys are similar to uh, shamans. There's our Dirk. Let's go get that. Come on, man. Similar to shamans in the sense that um, they uh, they will attack you from a distance. Okay, so we're kind of back to normal now. God damn it. Can this thing even hurt us? Okay, we're taking some risks here. 12 health potions, might as well just use one. I don't know, I might just freaking upgrade the crap out of this armor. Um, plus 18, 5 to 30 damage. We might just go ahead and use that. Let's, let's have a look. Let's have a look, let's have a look. We got a few identification scrolls. I wanted to use an assassin. Oh, wow, that is quite good. 7 to 43, okay, you know what? I ain't playing no more. It's time to get ourselves a weapon. That is a good weapon. That is a good weapon. We're just gonna go with that. No more, no more playing around. Boom, boom. <laughs> okay, I gotta calm my horses down. So yeah, we're gonna go from three to 15 damage to <laughs> nine to 54. That is an insane amount of damage increase. Okay, we'll just leave it there with the uh, upgrade scrolls for now. Mirror image scroll, that's good. I want a transmutation scroll. And our current wands are kind of crappy. Do we have an ice wand? Do we have a freezing wand? I thought maybe we did. No, we don't. Dang it. Get out of here. Against the wall. Oh, we're getting corroded. Oh, look at that. We killed him. Uh, I'm not used to having so much attack power. Come here. Come hither. You bastard. See, these guys are annoying because they will kick your weapon out of your hand. Okay. And I guess I didn't... Uh, hold on. Let's burn this meat. Boom. Okay, we're on fire too. Let's get over to the water. Why is that lasting for so long? I didn't explain... Oh, there's our strength potion. That was the thing that disappeared on that trap as well. I was trying to get that trap... I was trying to get that potion and it disappeared. Okay you sir look how fast we're killing people oh my god and that's right um i didn't even look the unstable enchantment this enchantment radiates chaotic energy acting there's a different enchantment with each hit so in this case we uh turned him into uh, an ally that's pretty awesome okay do we have a flame potion we do not so we're just gonna throw a bomb at that door that works as well and we'll save the flame potion Save the old flame potion for later. Okay, let's eat that pasty. 
And we do have the key to this door, so we might as well get this out of the way. Some stones. I need to use stones more often. I just I don't use them as much as I should. What's going on, dude? Oh, he's in trouble. He's in trouble. I think he's being chased or something. He's dying. What are you doing? What are you going on about? Alright, let's go in here. We're going to officially get rid of our wonderful chilling dagger that, you know, did us um, a lot of favors. Um, and then what's this? Glyph of Potential. I'm not a fan of that. We do have another... Uh, oh, we have three freaking styluses, so let's go ahead and... Glyph of Repulsion. This glyph rebounds. No, no, I'm not a fan of that, because enemies that attack you from a distance will... Uh, no, faster through water. What's this one do? Repulsion, damn it. So we got stuck with repulsion. And also, furthermore, um, let's use an augmentation stone on our weapon. Wait, hold on. We need to read this for a second. This tier five uh, melee weapon deals 10 to 60 damage and requires 16 strength. This towering blade inflicts heavy damage by investing its heft into every swing. Um, maybe we should increase its speed. Since, yeah, let's increase its speed. That's what the augmentation stone does. And... What's this do again? Enchantment stone. This is what I was looking for. So we can enchant it. This one gave us the chalk, shocking enchantment, so we're going to electrocute people. It's better, I find, than the unstable enchantment, because you know what you're going to get. The unstable enchantment is just random, random enchantments. So, you know, you could potentially screw yourself over by lighting something that you didn't mean to light on fire. You know, so. It's, uh, it's better to have, in my opinion, it's better to have something that you know what it is. And we identified that wand. We haven't found, like, any decent wand yet. And there's the golem. There's our friend, the golem. Go, golem. Go, golem. Go, go. And we'll keep using our wand. Our wands. Until he gets over to us. I know, it's taken a while. I, I might try to... You know, I might try to speed things up here a little bit. I don't want to be too, too boring. But I don't want to speed through it either, you know. This is how I play, so I don't want to, like... You know, play differently than I normally would. Just because I'm going to be famous on the YouTubes. No. <laughs> um, I don't know. Alright, so... Let's cut down this grass. And YouTube's really just a side hobby for me for now, and the only thing that I really care to upload is uh, Pixel Dungeon videos, and this would probably be the last one, um, because I don't know, I don't have any other games that I'm trying to, that I'm into, like, I, you know, I could go through all my old classic, you know, SNES and PS1 favorites, but I'm not into it. I've been playing Dragon Quest XI lately. And I'm um, about 80 hours in, which is, you know, pretty far. Um, see, I don't like that. See, we just repulsed him, and it, it shot him back. And he could have shot us back in return because of that, so. Sneak this guy. Sneaky sneak attack. Man, the rain. It's sorry, it's raining outside. And it's just suddenly got some really heavy rain all of a sudden. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm trying to think maybe what else I could play, but it's not a huge priority for me. I got other stuff going on in life. But um, yeah, I don't know. I just want to, you know, if I'm gonna play something. I want to play something that I really enjoy. Pixel Dungeon is that. So, huh? 
uh, 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 uh. We, there's a lot of potions that we haven't identified yet. We should probably go ahead and do that. Might as well. Um, might as well do that now. I believe there's an experience potion and a haste potion left over. So there's the haste potion, and this must be... Oh no, that is the paralysis potion. I think I was thinking of another file that I had open. And look at what we got here. Look at this. What's going on? What kind of weapon does he have? Projecting hand axe. Well, that's totally useless. Um, but we will kill him just for the sake of it. Just kill him just for fun. Oh, damn, it's coming this far? Where's the enemy? I don't know. I didn't see that anything has, like, died in the background. Normally it, it says something about that. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's hide out here while the corrosion gets them. See? The stupid repulsion, man. I don't like it. I mean, damn it. I hate repulsion. See, look at this, man. It's it's garbage. That guy keeps scoring freaking attacks on me. Finish him off now. Look at that. It's annoying. I need to get rid of this repulsion. That could kill me. That could be the reason why I die. That very well could be. It's that dangerous. Corrosion trap. Need to uh, try and get some health back here. Uh, him. Let's go ahead and give him a little push. Pretty crazy how you can just kill them in one hit like that. Such a powerful enemy that you can just push off a cliff. What was that? Another one. I guess we can... Uh, oh my frig, are you serious? I had a whole plan. Get lost. Here goes my plan. All every See, and I hate these huge rooms because now someone's attacking me from somewhere and I don't know where. God, let's get out of this room. Oh, for God's sakes, man. Can you go two seconds without letting yourself on fire? Tense. All right, check this room for traps. Another long sword. Or no, we have a great sword. The long sword is a tier below our weapon. Tis beneath us. Eat some meat. We feel weak, and for God's sakes, well, why is this cursed? I didn't even notice all of our armor. For God's sakes, man. Some of these traps are such a pain in the ass. Teleport your friggin' weapon. Curse everything. Oi. Jeepers, friggin' creepers, man. Oh, we gotta get one more shot. One more shot from this. Over to him. Bzz, we got him. Alright. Come here, Axe. Just trying to friggin' heal myself here. All these dew drops. Okay, where are we going in this level? So distracted with all these nonsense enemies. 
Okay, there's a there's an area down there. Yeah, you wanna you wanna play that game, huh? You wanna play that game? Damn it! I wish we had some stuff. I could light them on fire. Don't have any fire weapons or any or, or anything like that. Whatever. Um, I noticed we have this. I think this is the experience. Yeah, there's the experience potion. I should have probably killed that guy. It's better to kill them and so they can't come back and mess with you later. Healing potion, that's good. For God's sakes, man. Paralytic gas. I think, I think we have all of our potions identified. Get out of here. Get out of here. Okay, did we finish exploring everything? I don't think we did. Yeah, there's that one door up there. That loops around. Okay, so we need to go check this out. Let's check it, check, check, check it out. I like doing like 100% completion, um, even though, you know, we found the armor and weapons that we're going to be using. I like to uh, try and find, you know, everything in the game. All right, that should take care of all the wraiths. And then we'll go grab this, because we can actually sell it. All right, um, yeah, I think we're done here. I think we're done. We're heading down to the 18th floor. Floor numero 18. Really need to find a new, uh, I mean, sometimes that repulsion glyph is really good, but when you're fighting enemies that have long range attacks, it's, uh, it isn't, you know, it's not a good, it's not good. So you're just pushing them back to give them the opportunity to attack you. Get out of here. More corrosion. My corrosion. Okay. I don't know. Whatever, I don't know why I'm spending the time to do this. Okay, whatever. Come here. Come here. Come hither. Let me slice your face open. Yeah, I mean, we can pretty much kill... We don't really need wands so much. Oh, look, we're up to ten freaking charges on our... Uh, on our cloak. We don't really need to use wands as much as I am using them. We can just kind of... We're powerful enough to just kind of sneak up and... Beat the crap out of people. Kind of warrior style. I was hoping to go more... More sneaky style. Um, with like an assassin's blade or something, but... It just didn't work out that way. Yeah, and obviously, I don't know, I guess I didn't mention it, but whenever you fight those fireball guys, you want to be uh, standing in water, because they will ignite you. Right, open this door. What's going on in here? I'm hungry all of a sudden. In real life. And in the game. Well, I'm starving in the game. I think I'm going to eat me some sardines. And rice. It's kind of messed up, isn't it? But, um, it's good if, uh, if you train. Sardines have a lot of protein. And I'm kind of skinny, so I need the carbs that come with rice. So. Fun, fun, fun. I'm sure you care. But it is good to take care of yourself. And that's my point. Um, I used to, when I was younger, um, I used to train at the gym, and then life happened, I became a teenager, uh, like a young adult teenager, and ended up, you know, experimenting with alcohol and drugs and all that stuff, and, uh, and, I, and I don't think that any, I don't think you should do it, I'm not saying it's a good thing, I'm saying I did, and I'm not saying that you should, it has a different effect for everyone. Um, it can be a really negative effect, and it can be really scary as well if, uh, if you're messing with, with drugs. 
but you know a lot of teens do mess with it at that age um, but it's I'm not saying it's right you shouldn't because it can develop into a real problem uh, later down on the road uh, so I lost all my progress of going to the gym so that's that's one of the one of the uh, problems that you get I lost all my progress going to the gym I turned into a skinny guy again I was big I was getting really big and healthy and nice looking girls were like "Ooh, you have abs and, and that felt amazing and then um, it's only now you know like 15 years later that I'm uh, I'm really serious about getting it back and uh, so yeah the, the whole point is just to say that um, you know it's it's important to be healthy it's uh, I realize that you know in terms of like your mood and stuff um, your ability to concentrate everything it's really important and I would highly suggest anyone if you have if you don't like going to the gym I don't like going to the gym I used to go to the gym when I was younger and really like super determined um, I don't like going to the gym now and so I just have everything at home and so I don't know if you have the space or the money to do that but it's surprisingly not as like expensive as you might think it is I just got like cheap stuff and that's really all you need to start you know my bench press with all the weights and everything I think came to like hundred and fifty to two hundred dollars so you know if you're working maybe you can swing that it's worth it it's worth the health and then dumbbells you know you can get for pretty cheap you know just on eBay or Amazon or whatever so you know and then just start off super simple you know don't I like I don't know I guess it's different for everyone when I was originally um, inspired to train when I was younger um, it was because of Dragon Ball. I was watching Dragon Ball, and I was like, man, I want to be like Goku. And plus, high school's coming up, so I want to like, you know, I want to be like buff for high school. And uh, so I, I, I did. You know, I, 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 the, the motivation that I received from Dragon Ball Z um, got me to become pretty strong and pretty big and, and, and that helped me a lot. Um, and so for me, you know, I wasn't like, you know, I didn't like, and this is just me. It doesn't have to be you. You can do your own way. But for me, um, I just, I just started going to the gym. That was it. I didn't know what I was doing. I just started going to the gym, looking around. Oh, okay. Let's lift this and do that and now to this day you know I don't want to start with like a really crazy workout routine because I find especially at the beginning it gets like overwhelming like just just train that's it just just start lifting stuff buy some dumbbells do some curls some arm curls with it um, you know start super simple that would be my advice but it doesn't work for everyone you know my buddy um, he trains as well and him he's like a super like structured kind of guy and that works really well for him you know he has to know Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday what he's doing and me it's just I go by the feel of it it's like oh, okay like yesterday you know I can feel my I did a good job on my on my uh, on this part of my body so what's left what's what's left over what, what, what can I do next what area can I do next based on how I feel you know, based on what's sore and what isn't. So I, I like to go with that route. Not everyone, not everyone uh, likes that style, but that's my style. But anyways, that's enough. It's enough of that. I'm just trying to say that, you know, in my experience with life, um, you know, it's ridiculously important to be healthy and a lot of people myself included for the longest time procrastinate and don't do it um, don't don't spend you know the few minutes a day it doesn't even have to be a long time I spend maybe 20 30 minutes training um, just to be healthy and so many of us like work like office jobs you know 
you know, I work from home, so it's basically an office job because, yeah, I have an office at home. And so it's so important just to, uh, to have that physical activity, to, to have that physical aspect of, of life happening. You know, if you're working in an office as well, then, you know, hopefully you're training as well. So anyways, that's enough of that. Um, we're almost done with the 19th floor, which means we're heading down to the 20th floor, which means that's the boss for this area. And then we'll be on to the final area of Pixel Dungeon. Yes, we're almost at the final freaking area of this game. Okay, we don't want him to see us. And we disappear. Okay, now everything, everyone's coming out of the freaking woodwork because we're at the end of the uh, level here. So I'm gonna try and slow us down, screw us up. Okay, screw you, I'm going invisible. I'm gonna surprise attack your ass. There we go. And what is in the locked door? Money. Alright, give me the money. Ah, show me the money. And what else? What else? Oh yeah, the other thing that I'll say about training is, man, like, does it ever have a positive effect on your mood? I swear to God. And so many people deal with, like, depression and stuff today. Um, that, and, and they say, like, oh, you don't know how it feels and stuff. And I do, uh, you know, I understand, like, it's just, you just want to do nothing. You just want to lay in bed and do nothing. And for as long as you can until you have to force yourself to go to work. I understand that. You can muster up the energy to eventually start training or even just training from home. Um, the secret, my secret, is just to never ever give up. You know, I started and stopped training so many times, but that's why I like to have it right here in my in my home because you know I can I can fail as many times as it takes to become successful with it. You know, it's always there, ready for me to try again. And now I'm at the point where it's really becoming a habit. So that's why, you know, if you're anything like me, I don't know, some people don't mind going to the gym. If you're anything like me, though, and you don't want to go to the gym, I would really suggest in uh, just investing in some cheap equipment. It doesn't have to be top of the line. Investing in some cheap equipment. If you, if you become a pro freaking bodybuilder someday, then maybe you can invest in some better equipment. Anyways, okay, let's let's really stop. But I was just wanting to say, like, the effect that it has on your mood is crazy. You know, I don't really get depressed anymore. I used to all the time, I swear. I don't really, it doesn't happen anymore. So, if that is any, if that means anything to you, then then hoorah! Let's throw some liquid flame over at him. This is, uh, I forget the, the Dwarf King, that's his name, yeah, King of Dwarves. So usually my strategy is just to fill that upper half of the room there with uh, paralytic gas, because that's where he hangs out, and throw flame potions at him. And throw some corrosion up there as well. Or not paralytic gas, what am I talking about? Poison gas. So you see how the uh, electricity travels? See, we're just gonna poison him to death. He's about to die. Boom, he's dead. All right. Let's finish off these skeletons. These are like really weak skeletons. And we can now convert our armor into, we have this armor kit. We can convert it into our official rogue garb, which gives us a uh, really special attack. Whoops. Which we're going to put down here. Well, you know what? I want to redo our hotbar here. Let's see. What do we want to actually use? I love the uh, blast wave. And, yeah, all of our freaking wands are two to two. And I think I'll just stick with, uh, you know, that. So this is the thing with the armor. We can just, we can teleport, basically. Um, you know, pretty powerful. That's pretty powerful stuff right there. So we're done with the Dwarf King. Heading on down. 
to the next area. Sometimes there's a shop here, sometimes there's not. Well, um, damn it. I wish we had a freaking evasion ring. That would be amazing. Evasion rings are awesome. And we have not yet found a transmutation stone. So I still want to hold out a little bit on on these upgrade scrolls. I mean, let's let's increase our armor a little bit. 8 to 40. 7 to 42. I really, really want to find... Okay, so actually look here. This is what we're going to do. We're going to start using our magic mapping scrolls so we can see. We're, we're now in the demon halls. And what am I doing? Um, yeah, we need to make a new episode. <laughs> I'm getting carried away here. Um, yeah, this is the demon halls. There's no store this time. Sometimes there is, sometimes there isn't. And we'll be exploring it on uh, the next episode. And that, if all goes well will be the final episode but it's the hardest place this is where i keep dying so hopefully we can do it there's only 25 floors there's three floors left to go so we'll see you next episode comment down below let me know what you think and um, love it if you'd like and subscribe especially if you enjoy the content see you on the next episode thanks for watching bye